What is going on guys, Executus here coming at you with Legion, Destro, Warlock, new news, artifact weapons, PvP, talent calculator, talent calculator, and just updated spells and abilities. Let's hop right into this. So we're going to look at the new Destro, Warlock, artifact weapons. These look so awesome in my opinion. Look at this. I'm just going to quickly fast forward this because I don't want this video to be too long. But we have five weapons and four different colors for each weapon. And each weapon just looks extremely cool. Look at that. Uh, if you want to check this video out for yourself or anything else that you're going to watch, just go to MMOChampion.com. No, I'm not sponsored. But some of these weapons, dude, that looks so sick. Man, imagine going with that with my Warlock. Holy cow, that one, just so cool. And these, I'm super hyped. All right, that's all the weapons, and they have that middle thing spins. Dude, look at that. Reminds me of like a boomkin. Changes color, too. It's awesome. All right, now let's look at the spell changes. All right. So, Destro Warlock spell changes. All right, the Destro Warlock spell changes. So, we have Chaos Bolt, which used to cost one Burning Ember and now costs two Soul Shards and is reduced by 0.5 second cast time. It says unleashes a devastating blast of chaos, causing 319% um, of spell power, up from 282. So that's a really big buff. Definitely awesome. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more damage, and uh, we're going to have only, like in Wad, you can pump out a lot of chaos bolts. These are going to be, it's going to go back to Mist of Pandari, where you have to build up those burning embers, in this case, soul shards, um, to, to you know, pump out those huge chaos bolts. Uh, that's basically the only change to chaos bolts. Um, Conflagrates, it costs 2% of base mana. There's two charges, same thing as before. Um, it does the same amount of damage, and it says... It generates a soul shard. Every time you conflagrate, it generates a soul shard. And they changed um, the passive backdraft, which used to stack to six times. And uh, you'd have either six incinerates at super fast casting or two chaos bolts at super fast casting. But instead, you just get reduced um, cast time by 30% for five seconds. So anything in those five seconds, you can cast. Um, yeah, suppose that. Now, Havoc. There's some really cool changes to Havoc. Uh, it, it costs 8% of mana, um, but that's, yeah, whatever. So you mark a target for 8 seconds, causing uh, your single target spells to also strike them. Limit 1. I'm assuming this is 1 spell, so you can cast 1 Immolate, 1 Conflagrate, 1 Incinerate, 1 Chaos Bolt. Um, and then you have to wait another 20 seconds for the cooldown to be done. Immolate, uh, it's the same thing as before. Apparently it burns the target and it can generate a soul shard if it um, if it critically strikes. Incinerate, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's the exact same thing. And then and then they have they have added a new thing to Reign of Fire. Apparently it's channel now. Uh, I think so. Uh, it's definitely going to be cool. So that's uh, all for the spell changes. Now let's move on to the PvP talent calculator. Now here we see, uh, just like the Prestige Edition, or Prestiging in Call of Duty, we have, like, you level up and then you can Prestige again, but these are just your talent trees because there's going to be no PvP gear uh, in Legion. There's only going to be PvE gear, which you can use in PvP, but you have PvP talents. All right, let's hop right into this. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4 are the same um, for almost all classes in in terms of, like, the same... Yeah, spells. So tier 1 is your trinkets. You have your gladiator's medallion, uh, just removes all impairing effect. A trinket. You have your adaptation, uh, which is a, a, a cooldown that um, removes CC longer than 5 seconds, uh, and is uh, half 30 seconds on a lesser cooldown than that. And you have relentlessness, which is, reduces the CC effects by 25%. Now, talent tree tier 2, we have train of thought, Damage is increased by 15%. Being attacked will cancel this effect for 8 seconds. Not very good talent. Mind Quickness increases haste by 15%. Simple as that. Pretty good talent. It's like a Shadow Priest. And we have Initiation. Critical Strike. Chance is increased by 30% on targets at or above 80% health. Uh, I like that. 
Now we have Curse of Tongues. Forces the target to speak demonic, increasing the casting time of all spells by 30% for 10 seconds. Now this is perfect because if you wanted to, you know, let's say you have another Destro lock on the other team and you want to make them take 3 minutes to cast a Chaos Bolt, uh, you just put this debuff on them. I do like this, but as I go through the talents, you'll see which ones I'm going to choose in my opinions for them as well. We have Curse of Weakness. Uh, reduces the target's physical damage dealt by 25% for 10 seconds. Now, this is going to be really good against rogues, warriors, DKs, feral druids, anything that does, you know, big white damage or, um, you know, not immediate or not like damage over time spells. So, if so, yeah, it basically, if you put this on them, it will reduce their damage by 25% for 10 seconds. Now, we have Curse of Fragility. I'm pretty, I think I'm pronouncing that word right. Reduces the target's maximum health by 20% per 10 seconds. Now this is very good. Because as I'm going to show you with these other talents, um, it, some of these talents seem to work with each other. Like reduces the target's maximum health by 20% uh, for 10 seconds. Seems to work with initiation, which reduces... Uh, uh, or sorry, which critically chance, critical sh chance strike increased... Jeez, I can't even talk... Uh, by 30% on targets at or above 80% health. So if you lower down their health, let's say they had 300k, and you lower it uh, 20%, let's just say it's 280k, uh, and then you have initiation. These are all passives, by the way. Um, or this isn't, but the initiation is a passive. So let's say you lower their maximum HP. It's just easier to do damage because, um, uh, yeah, because they have less health, if that makes sense. Number f uh, Talent tree number four, we have improved health funnel. Health funnel reduces the damage taken by your summon demon by 20%. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be using Grimoire of Sacrifice anyway. Uh, number uh, We have improved health zone. It's a work in progress. Um, yeah, all this is subject to change, by the way. And we also have demon skin. Increases the healing bonus of your fell armor by 15%. Healing received by your demons is increased by 15%. Again, I think improved health zone is better. Uh, they they are focusing a lot on demons, on summoned pets, and legion expansion. But if you just want to be, you know, it, the way I, how I play Destro Lock is not with a pet. I use the Grimoire of Sacrifice so I can rely on myself to do my damage in CC. All right, now the best last two talents. Uh, we have Tier Five and Tier Six. These are the best talents in my opinion. We have Improved Backdraft. Increases the effectiveness of Backdraft by an additional twenty percent and increases its duration by three seconds. So this is going to be awesome. We're going to have 50% or 40% reduced cast times on Chaos Bolts and Incinerates for not 5 seconds, but 8 seconds this time. Now, if you want to, man, improved backdraft, st stacked with Curse of Fragility, stacked with Initiation, that's just going to be so much damage. And I'll show you, once we have on the talent calculator, I'll show you a super OP talent that's just going to, you know, you're going to pop all of your cooldowns and pop, do a swifty one-shot. It's going to be awesome. We have Fell Fissure, Conflagrate Creatures, and Eruption uh, of Fell Fire at the target location, dealing shadow damage everywhere for one second for five seconds to all enemies within five yards of the initial target. Uh, it's okay. The improved Backdraft is still better than all these. And Incineration, uh, incineration Incinerate refreshes the duration of your Immolate. Improved backdrafts way better. Now, for my favorite talent out of all of these so far is, is Bane of Havoc. But improved Chaos Bolt reduces the time of Chaos Bolt by 0.5 seconds. That, that's that's good. It, you could stack that with Mind Quickness and just pop out Chaos Bolts without even backdraft on there. All right, this is my favorite talent so far. It's called Bane of Havoc. Curses the ground with a demonic Bane, causing all of your single target spells to also strike, strike targets within the Bane last 10 seconds so it's going to be an aoe effect kind of like fire and brimstone um which is a talent now but what's basically we mark an area of effect and every spell we pop into that area uh or actually it only it only with the new talent uh with the new spell changes you can only do one spell but you'll see with the talent calculator wreak havoc um but every every spell we pop into there like let's say a chaos bolt or uh, conflagrate, emulate, whatever it is, hits all targets in that area. So it's, and it works with Havoc, so it's on a 20 second cooldown. But I'll show you something that's going to be really cool in a second here. 
So that so my talents for uh, destruction are going to be improved or er, bane of havoc, improved backdraft, uh, improved health stone, curse of fragility, initiation, and most likely gladiator's medallion or adaptation. All right, now let's go on to the talent system. Man, this this is so sick. This expansion. So level fifteen talents. We have burning embers. Your backdrafts from conflagrates now last an additional three seconds. So you can stack these. Uh, with your improved backdraft for an additional 11 seconds of backdraft, but that's at the cost of Shadowburn. Shadowburn is now a target, um, and you guys all know what Shadowburn does, and it generates two soul shards Soul shards if the target dies within five seconds. It's the same thing as before, um, but we need this. As a Destruction Warlock, as a ranged DPS, the most important thing is an Execute, and that's basically what Shadowburn is. Uh, now, Fire and Brimstone is also a target, uh, you guys should know what that does if you play a Warlock. Now, level 30, we're going to be going with, or not we, but uh, Reverse Entropy. Chaos Bolt restores 25% mana. That's cool. Um, if mana is a problem, like regenerating, regenerating mana is a problem, this might be a good talent to take. We have Roaring Blaze. When you incinerate an immolated target, the remaining damage of the immolate is increased by 10%. Uh, refreshing immolate will turn... Uh, will return to its normal damage. Stupid talent. I don't... That's just a filler is what I like to call. Now, this is broken. Consumes 40% mana. 40% of current mana to grant 15% increased damage for 20 seconds. Talk about a swifty one-shot. Holy cow. We're going to be... This plus your PvP trinket plus Dark Soul. That's so much more damage you're going to get. Man... This is this is the one shot macro I'm gonna do the second legion comes out I'm gonna p come out with the one shot macro video, uh, all right, forty uh, level forty five we have soul leech, um, drain life and drain soul grant you blah 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 incinerate grants your pet shadowy shield that absorbs fifteen percent stupid I don't like it dumb talent, mortal coil you guys all know what that does and shadow fury now shadow fury is a one point five second cast now as as it used to be uh, instant, so. It's still a good target because it's still a good talent or ability because it is an AOE stun, and that is super helpful in rated battlegrounds, um, and in arenas. Now, Shadow Fury is only for destruction and demology. There's no more Shadow Fury under Affliction Lock. You only have Howl Howl of Terror. Something to keep in mind. Now, level sixty, super sick talent. Eradication Chaos Bolt increases the damage you deal to your target by twenty percent for six seconds. Oh my goodness, Destruction Warlocks are going to own this expansion. Now, I know in the last video I said Destruction Warlocks suck, but dude, this is sick. Alright, Cataclysm, you guys all know what Cataclysm does. Now, Soul Harvest, also a very good talent. Refill five soul, soul shards. It's an instant, but it says channeled for some reason. Very good talent, it's on a two-minute cooldown. Level 75, we have Demonic Circle. Everyone knows what that does. Burning Rush, still a dumb talent because you sacrifice health for movement speed. And we have Dark Pact, which is the exact same thing as Sacrificial Pact. So I'm probably going to go with that. Uh, level 90, we have Grimoire of Supremacy, Grimoire of Service, and Grimoire of Sacrifice. I'm still going to go with Grimoire of Sacrifice because it's just, it's just better. Level 100, my favorite talent. Wreak Havoc. Havoc now lasts 20 seconds and has no cooldown. Holy cow, this is going to break the game. We have Havoc plus Bane of Havoc. You can, there's unlimited Havocs, so you, there's unlimited AoE as uh, a Destruction Warlock. That's so awesome, in my opinion. We also have Channel Demon Fire. Launches 15 bolts of Fell Fire at immolated enemies within 40 um, yards over 3 seconds. Each bolt deals blank amount of fire damage. Very good talent, but I think Reek Havoc is going to be better, because you're just going to be pumping out tr triple Chaos Bolts, quadruple Chaos Bolts, on the four enemies in a rated battleground. And we all know what demonic servitude is. So, my opinion, I'm going with Shadow Burn, I'm going with Mana Tap, I'm going with Shadow Fury, I'm going with Eradication, I'm going with Sacrificial Pack, Dark Pack, whatever you want to call it. I'm going with Grimoire of Sacrifice, and I'm going with Reek Havoc. Man, this is so awesome. Mana Tap plus Eradication, um, plus uh, Improved Backdraft, and just all these you know, initiation, we have all these stackable damage increases. 
onto our, our targets. And that's it's just going to equal just a whole bunch of damage at high percents. Because critical strike increased by 30% on targets at or above 80% health. So we can we might be able to one-shot somebody. I don't know, but it's definitely going to be cool. So that's it for uh, the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my opinions if I, if I gave them. And uh, share what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.